Namaste. My name is Jayanti and I'm very happy to be here today to share this prenatal Akanda Yoga class with you, Making Space for Baby. In this class, we're going to use mantra, movements, pranayam, some yogic wisdom, a deep rest and meditation to make sure you create space, not just within your own body, but space for baby also. We'll start by finding a comfortable seat. You don't need to sit like me. You're welcome to sit in a chair or with some cushions, legs stretched out or bent. Make sure your spine is tall and that you have deep comfort so that you can really tune in to this practice. I'll invite you to bring your left hand to the center of your chest and right hand to baby. And if it feels okay, you can softly close your eyes. Taking deep breaths in now to both your hands, breathing deeply into your heart and into baby. And as you breathe smoothly, if you can, through your nose, allow each inhale breath to expand your body, expand the space. And each exhale breath, release and let go of anything you feel you're holding on to that isn't serving you. Deep breath in and deep breath out. And if it feels a little tight, like there's not much room, perhaps baby's taking up a lot of space, that's okay. We're gonna change that now as we move throughout our practice. We'll bring our hands now together in front of the heart. Namaskar Mudra. And here we'll chant a mantra. The mantra is Prana Sedam Vashe Sarvam. And this roughly translates to Pran, this life force energy that's all around us is available to everyone, everywhere equally. Not just yourself now, but baby also. When we move throughout our yoga practice, we'll make ourselves like an amazing sponge that will be able to draw in so much more energy. Again, not just for ourselves, but for baby also. We'll chant this mantra now to tune in to this energy of allowing the pran to go where it needs to go. Call and response. Prana sedam vashe sarvam. Together. Prana sedam vashe sarvam. All together now. Prana sedam vashe sarvam. Prana sedam vashe sarvam. Prana sedam vashe sarvam. Chanting to yourself and baby. Prana sedam vashe sarvam. Prana sedam vashe sarvam. Prana sedam vashe sarvam. Prana sedam vashe sarvam. Deep breath in. Repeating the mantra in your mind. Prana Sedam Vashe Sarva. And exhale, release. You can softly open your eyes and release your hands. And with your hands resting on your knees, we'll start to circle our hips. So moving your pelvis around, bringing some movement, some energy, some pran to this space. If your head and shoulders naturally start to move, that's absolutely fine. softening and relaxing your jaw, your tongue. And if you can, we'll breathe in and out through the nose for the practice, unless I suggest otherwise. But if at any stage you feel congested or blocked, feel free to breathe through the mouth. Let's reverse the direction of the circle. Getting lots of blood flowing down into our pelvis, into our womb space where a baby is nestled up nice and safe. few more circles now. 
tuning into your breath. And now start to spiral yourself into center, finding that tall spine, making those circles smaller and smaller, and taking a moment here. Beautiful. We'll make gentle fists now in front of our chest, bringing our knuckles towards each other, or maybe they'd like to touch. Elbows, um, wrists, and shoulders all in one line. We'll start to warm up our thoracic spine now by taking some gentle twists here. And this might feel a little sticky, a little stiff. So feel free to just go at your own pace, keeping baby facing forwards and shoulder blades drawn back. We're opening up our diaphragm now, helping our lungs have a little bit more space, a bit more room, and drawing lots of pran, this life force energy, in through our body and through our breath. If at any stage you're feeling dizzy, you can keep the head facing forwards and just moving the upper back. A reminder again to relax your jaw and breathe smoothly. Let's take three more twists here. Last one. Take an inhale, bringing the arms out to the side and exhale, release. Eyes closed for a moment. And as you breathe here, just tuning in to noticing any difference in the spine, in the chest, in the ribs. Beautiful. Let's stretch our legs out in front, keeping the feet nice and wide, lots of room for baby. And taking our fingertips to the floor behind us and just moving our knees from side to side, opening up and releasing any tension that might be there from sitting. Beautiful. Let's take our body down onto all fours and move any cushions out to the side. If at any stage your knees or wrists need more support, you're welcome to double up your mat for a little bit of extra padding. Lovely. From here, we'll take our right foot out to the side pressing into our left hand and inhale raise the arms up exhale taking the arm down and tucking underneath the left arm i'll also show you this from the front inhale lift and exhale tuck inhale lift pressing into your left palm lots of space here in the chest and exhale tuck you going in time with your own breath, your own movements now. And if the right leg being out is too much, you're always welcome to bend the knee. Now that you know the movement, see, can you focus on the breath? With each inhale and exhale, drawing in this pran, this life force energy. Prana sedam vashe sarvam. This pran is available equally for everyone, everywhere. Let's take two more twists here. And on the next one, as the right arm comes up, pushing into the left hand, opening up the chest, looking up towards the ceiling perhaps. And let's take a few deep breaths here as gravity and the weight of your arm helps to bring your chest open rolling baby up towards the sky one more inhale and exhale coming all the way back down we'll step the right foot in and take a moment here on all fours allowing your body to tune in how does it feel right to left side we'll do the same on the other side now left foot out to the side pressing into your right palm inhale bring the left arm up Exhale, tuck. Inhale deeply. Exhale, tuck. Lovely. Keep going now in time with your breath, making space for baby, space for your breath, space for pran, and space and time in your day now. Beautiful. Keep going. 
And with each rotation now, if you can, let baby lift towards the ceiling. And as you come down, baby back down towards the floor. Three more. One more. And slowly back onto all fours. Taking a moment here, just noticing how you feel. Beautiful. Raja Yoga Madrasan, Child's Pose. We'll take our knees quite wide, sitting our hips back onto our heels. Lots of space here for baby. If you can take your elbows to the floor, do. If the head doesn't quite touch or if baby's taking up a lot of the room, you can always take your hands to your head to support your head. Perhaps baby isn't that big yet and you're able to stretch the arms out, tuck your chin, forehead to the floor. Let's take three Brahmary breaths here, whichever version you're in, and allow the vibration of the Brahmary breath to create space throughout your whole body into every cell, every nerve. Inhale. Release the hands if they're holding the head, coming back up onto all fours and we'll make our way to standing. Use whatever support you need to get yourself there. Coming up to stand nice and tall. We'll inhale, bring our right arm up, reach our left arm down for standing uh, lateral movement. Take our body over to the left, looking up underneath the right arm. Inhale, switch, moving over to the other side. Inhale, lift, exhale to the side. Inhale, lift, exhale to the side. Feet are hip width apart and even weight in both feet. We're opening up the side of the body, our side ribs, creating lots of room for the lungs now. And lots of room for baby, especially if you feel them pressing into your rib cage as they get a little bigger. Flowing with the breath. Let's do a few more. Let's do one more to each side. Inhale, lift. Exhale to the side. Inhale, lift. Exhale to the other side. Inhale, let's bring both arms up now, interlace the fingers, stretch the arms up for Chandrasan Moon Pose. This time we'll take our hips to the right, body to the left. If this becomes too much, take the hands to the head or maybe release one hand down like we were just doing. Stretching now and breathing into your right rib cage, expanding here. Notice if you're leaning forwards or leaning towards baby. If you can, if it's not too much for your lower back, press baby out, take the body to the side. Breathing, shoulders away from the ears, relax your jaw. One more inhale, well done. Exhale, come all the way up. Let's take our hands to baby for a moment. Eyes closed and breathe. Does your right and left lung feel different from one another? Do you feel more spacious on one side? Prana sedam avashte sarva. Let's do the other side. Inhale up, interlace the hands, reach the knuckles up. Hips to the left, body to the right this time and looking up underneath the left arm. Again, if you're leaning forwards, baby forwards, shoulders back and think about lifting up and over as opposed to down. 
breathing now into your left rib cage, the left side body. This is also really good for your digestion. Perhaps that's slowed down as baby's taking up a little bit more space. Let's take three more deep breaths in here with each inhale, feel that expansion. And the exhale, letting go, release. Inhale. Exhale. If your breaths are different length to mine, that's absolutely fine. And next exhale, come all the way up. Release the arms, hands to baby, eyes closed if you're not dizzy. And just notice now, right to left side, how you feel. Standing Bhujangasan, Cobra Pose. We'll take our hands to our lower back, fingers pointing down. Squeeze your shoulders and elbows together and we'll gently push our hips forwards as we lift baby up and forwards. This might be enough as you lift your breastbone, your sternum up towards the sky. Or depending on how you're feeling, you might like to go just that little bit further as you lean back a little. Tuning into your body now and what you need, tuning into your lower back and how it's feeling. Creating lots of space now in the heart, opening up space for your breath, for baby, and for our heart connection to baby. Relax your jaw as you breathe. Two more deep breaths. See, can you slow down this last breath? Extra pran drawing in through every cell of your body. Prana sedam vashe sarva. And slowly coming up. Release the hands and take any movements here that you need to stretch out the lower back. Perhaps you'd like to move from side to side, wiggle the hips, whatever it is you and baby want. We'll roll our shoulders back now and stand towards the front of our mat. We'll step back with our left foot into Mahavir Bhadrasan, the great warrior pose. We'll bend into our right knee, draw this left shoulder back as we create space now in the front of the chest. Palms and arms are parallel with the floor and we're bending into our right knee. The legs might be really feeling this, if you need to come up, do, but know that with each moment here that you're strengthening, you're strengthening your birthing muscles, keeping all the muscles that you'll need to bring baby into the world nice and strong. Let that be your motivation, and I bet it feels a little bit easier now. Gorgeous. We're breathing deep, we're lifting our chest, and take up space here. Be big, be bold, be strong. Beautiful, baby's facing forwards, shoulders and right knee facing to the side. Let's take two more deep breaths in here. Maybe you'll bend just that little bit more. Maybe you'll open up the chest that little bit more. One more inhale. Exhale, release the hands, straighten the leg and we'll heel toe the feet back together, keeping our pelvis nice and stable and turn to stand to the top of your mat. Let's take an inhale here. Exhale, release. And we'll do the same on the other side. This time we'll step back with our right leg, bending into our left knee. Our right toes face the long edge of the mat, left toes face the short end of the mat. Roll this right shoulder particularly back, rotate baby towards the long edge of the mat. Strong arms strong, empowering warrior here. So really tune in now to the energy of the warrior. Strong, determined, focused. They know exactly what they want, what they need. And you too, Mama, are a warrior here, carrying and making this baby and using all of the strength to welcome them into the world. Two more breaths. Let's bend a little more into that left knee if you can. Breathing full and smooth, taking up space. One more inhale. Exhale, release. Soften the arms, heel toe the feet back in. Well done. Hands to baby, eyes closed if you're not dizzy. And just allow your body to come back into alignment. Maybe the heart is racing. Let's use a steady, smooth breath here to bring it back. 
sighs, moans, groans, deep breaths, always welcome. Softly open our eyes and let's get ready to come and lie down on our left side. So left side lying is really, really beneficial for you and for baby. So see if you have lots of support here. A bolster or a long cushion can be really useful. Perhaps something for underneath the head so that your head isn't too uncomfortable. Take your left shoulder down, something underneath the head and then we'll take our right leg fully onto the bolster. So space for baby here, right leg on the bolster. If you prefer, you might take the bolster in between the legs, ensuring your foot and your knee are supported. This is another option. I'm gonna leave the bolster in front. I find this more comfortable. And I'm gonna use my hands to rest my head. We'll take a few deep breaths here as we rest in Shavasana, our relaxation pose. Maybe hand to baby. Let the breath be soft. Let all the effort of what we've just done settle into your body. Let this be a time where you and baby can connect. If there's anything you'd like to say to baby, any hopes or wishes or dreams that you have, just let your body and baby's body speak. I'll be here and I'll keep an eye on the time and the space. You know how long this video is. And so you can really let go now. There's nothing expected of you. There's nothing more you need to do. We'll take the next few moments in silence and I'll call you back with the sound of my voice. This pran, this life force energy is available equally to everyone, everywhere. And hopefully through moving, stretching and breathing your body, you feel like you have a little bit more access to this energy, a bit more space for baby 
space for yourself to breathe. Let's take a deep breath in together. And an exhale out. Slowly invite some movement into the body. Maybe give baby a little rub. Maybe they've also gone to sleep. And whatever way feels right for you, we'll bring ourselves up into a comfortable seat. You might like to stretch the top leg out. Gently press yourself up into any comfortable seated position. If you need a cushion, take it. We'll be here for a few moments. Having a tall spine, shoulders back. We'll do Analoma Valom, alternating nostril breath to continue this pran flowing through the body in harmony, creating space for you and baby. With your right hand, make a gentle fist and release baby and ring finger, Pranayam Mudra. Bringing the hand towards the face with soft shoulders. If you need to support this hand, you can. We'll take an exhale to prepare. Close the right nostril with your thumb. As you inhale through the left for four, three, two, one. Close, exhale right. Four, three, two, one. Inhale right, four, three, two, one. One, close, exhale, left, four, three, two, one. That's one round. Inhale, left, four, three, two, one. Close, exhale, right, four, three, two, one. Inhale, right, four, three, two, one. Close, exhale, left, four, three, two, one. One. That's two rounds. Keep going. Inhale left. Close. Exhale right. Inhale right. Close. Exhale left. Keep going. Inhale left. Close. Exhale right. right close exhale left two more rounds now in your own count relax steady breath your round by exhaling out through the left nostril release both hands eyes closed and bring your awareness to your Svadhisthan chakra your second chakra your area of creativity where you have created baby where baby is in creation right now and with your focus on this space allow the breath to be soft to do but each time the mind wanders come back to the Svadhisthan chakra your navel chakra This energy is available equally everywhere for everyone. I invite you to bring your right hand to baby now, left hand to the center of your chest. Take a deep breath in. 
breathing into both spaces. And we'll close this practice. Together we'll chant the Akanda Mantra, followed by one Om and three Shantis. Inhale. Know that you're not just chanting for yourself, but to baby, they will hear you. Om Akanda Mandala Karam Vyaptam Yena Chara Charam Tatparam Darshitam Yena Tasmai Shri Gurave Namaha Shanti. Being aware of the energy between your hands and drawing them together in front of the heart, Namaskar Mudra. When you feel ready, you can very gently and softly open your eyes. It's been my absolute pleasure to guide you today, and I really hope to see you and baby very soon. Namaste. Namaste. You are very welcome to Akhand Yoga YouTube channel. I am very proud of you, your deepening yoga practice. Well-being is your birthright. I really like you to join free online platform. There is a beginner to advanced hundreds of yoga videos. Kundalini Yoga, Raj Yoga, Yoga Nidra, Pranayam, many, many videos are there. I'm really looking forward to practice with you there. Hari Om.